Hey guys, just before we get into this review, if you like what you see with these Playcons and you want to get them after seeing my review, you could check the link down below, my snakebite.com forward slash Sergeant Major Mario, and you could use discount code Sergeant Major Mario to get 10% off your next order. That's enough from me, let's get back to me with the review. Have you ever wanted to use sideways joycons on your Nintendo Switch but complained about the size? If you have that very specific problem, this video is here for you. Hey guys, it's me, Sergeant Major Mario. What is up? And today we're going to be looking at the Playcon by Snakebite. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Ah. That's better. So, you may recall that I did a Twitter poll thinking about doing more video ideas for my channel. One of them I thought was doing third-party budget controllers and well a lot of people were up for that so i contacted i contacted snakebite who graciously sent me these play cards well these aren't the first ones they sent me uh we'll get on to that it was something i did not something they did so yeah but let's unbox it and see what we get all right so in the box the first things you want to get are the play cards I very much, I was a bit hesitant about this like design, but I think it's alright. Nice little colour scheme. And of course, we open the other one and... Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the orange and blue ones. Again, special thanks to Snakebite for sending these to me, you know, uh, I didn't expect them to, but... Thank you very much. Uh, I should point out that just because they sent me review copies, all of these thoughts in this review are my own. I know some people, I know that may be a bit obvious, but I'm not going to get into that. Basically, you know, there's been a lot of controversy behind stuff like that sometimes. In the middle of the box, you get with it a micro, a singular micro USB. Now, that's micro USB, so that's good. So if you have an Android phone, uh, you can charge up your phone, you can charge up the controllers with that as well. Um, I think it's to essentially be like, well, when you're charging one, you could use the other. Fair enough. And last but not least, but still quite important, are these, these booklets. Uh, this one's basically, you know, the website. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, customer service for American and German numbers. Uh, Fuck England. <laughs> uh, this is basic how to connect the controllers to the devices because these also work on Android. And this is what happened last time. So you may have seen the joke at the start where I had a fully blue play con and it switched into this. Um, I thought these had to be updated first. Now I should stress this, that was my own fault because some certain third party uh, controllers have to be updated manually because they don't follow the Switch's recent updates. So I thought I had to go online, download the update from Snakebite's website and, you know, follow suit. I downloaded the wrong one because they haven't uploaded um, the official one yet. And thus, yeah, the ones they sent me originally are now bricks. I tried getting them to work, which is why, you know, I, I gutted them, which is why I swapped the buttons around, and yeah. I just stress that's my own fault, but oh well, what are you going to do? But yeah, so now that we got these out of the way, let's move on to the part where I test them. Now, I have some control games that I will be using to test these controllers to make sure they work with a fair amount in mind. So I'm going to see if they can work with Dragon Ball Fighters, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Kirby Star Allies, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Firestar MX. Those are the games I have that I think will be a good all-around testing ground for them. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so trying to connect was the first problem. The instruction booklet said to press the mode button for 3 seconds and then click the SL and SR buttons, but after constantly trying I couldn't get them to connect. It turns out that what you have to do is hold down the mode button and click the SL and SR buttons while still holding mode down. I do feel that could have been written better, but I was able to carry on so I won't bitch on it too much. For this test I'll be using the orange playcon, purely because it's the one with the home button. The blue playcon has the capture button, so I won't be able to access the home menu on that one. 
So as mentioned, I have a few control games. I decided to start with Fast RMX since I'm more familiar with playing it with sideways Joy-Cons. While playing, I notice that the play cards feel great in the hands. The grips at the back are enough to keep your fingers on and the analog stick is further from the buttons than compared to the Joy-Cons. While playing, I noticed that there was a faint rumble, which did surprise me. I was warned that there wasn't any HD rumble, which I was fine with, but I didn't expect rumble to still be implemented. Another thing I was warned about was that there was no motion controls, which as you can see here, yeah, that shit ain't turning whatsoever. Moving on to Dragon Ball Fighters, that oh, I seem to have forgotten it doesn't use a sideways Joy-Con. Whoops. Moving on to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, some people think sideways Joy-Con is as bad as playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl with a sideways Wii Remote. While I do see that point, I honestly think the play card makes it less of a problem because you're holding something that's more ergonomic in the hands. True, there's no right analog stick to flick smash, but that doesn't stop you from playing the game entirely. You just need to get used to the dreaded A button. Good job, rookie. See you next game. Kirby Star Allies. Now, some people don't like this game. It's one of those games that revolves around the Joy-Cons, so I thought it'd be an apt choice to try with the Play-Cons. And I must say, it feels good. Nothing else to add here. Now the finale, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I actually purchased this game again purely to test the Play-Cons, but I had so many fond memories of Mario Kart and had a blast revisiting it. Oh shit, I see that blue shell coming. <laughs> fuck you, blue shell, fuck you! Oh, holy fuck! Just saw my fucking life flash before my eyes! <laughs> fucking hell! Yep, a blast revisiting it. Now the play cons worked wonders, however this is where the issue with the rumble came in. It seemed to rumble at random bits of intensity, sometimes barely and other times constant. I can only imagine it's trying to get data from the HD rumble and making stuff up on the fly as it went. It got a bit distracting as it went on. Not too distracting to where I couldn't play the game, but not something I shrugged off then and there. Overall, in all these tests, the play cons have essentially passed with flying colours. I've barely found any issues with them to where I felt the need to bring them up here. They are perfectly solid Joy-Con replicas. So there we go, that's my thoughts on the play cons. Honestly, this is a really good controller. I can honestly see this being great for parents who want to buy a controller for their kids you know, say they have like uh, an eight-year-old who wants to play like Mario Kart four player with his friends, but he's only got the two Joy-Cons. Honestly, you can go, you could do better, but this is really good. They're about 40 to 30, 30 to 40 pounds, but you get two. So really, you buy one of these, you got four player action straight away. Honestly, I give these a solid nine out of 10. Fix the rumble, you know, <laughs> you, you can't go wrong. These are perfectly solid controllers. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little look at um, the third party controller worlds. I have a few in mind that I want to purchase and review. So I guess it's only a matter of time before I get to actually reviewing them. Uh, if there's any specific third party controller you want me to look at, uh, be sure to let me know down below. If you want to give any feedback, because it's you know, a first time doing this, this sort of thing, you know, what do you think? Should I maybe change it up? You know, something like that. Just, just l let me know down below and I'll keep that in mind. So yeah, once again, thank you so much to Snakebite for sending me these Playcons. Really appreciate it, and I hope this is kind of what you were expecting from a review. I did say I'd be honest, so <laughs> that's all I gotta say, really. Other than subscribe, see you later. Thank you guys so much for. Oh, um, if you want to purchase these controllers, um, I, they will be linked in the description below to where you can purchase them on Snakebite's official website. Just thought I'd get that out there. But that's all I've got to say, really, other than subscribe. See you later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sergeant Major Mario saying, ciao!